All right, hey, we're down here at Timeless Hearts refinishing. 616-453-8309. Uh, Bruce Latch and Sandy Cuspit. You can find us on the World Wide Web. www.timelessartgr.com um, We got a, you seen us do a video on this black dresser here. We had painted it black and Sandy is going to demonstrate how she puts on a, a pin dot pattern. She's going to be taking these drawers here and doing them in an oriental finish um, and we're going to demonstrate how it's done. So she starts with a black dresser drawer and then she's going to put this pattern. Go ahead Sandy, show us what you're going to do. It's a pin dot pattern. I'm going to pounce, pounce this on here. Shoot. <clears throat> pattern around here as you're doing that. Okay, so she's got her pattern laid where you want it. Mm -hmm. She's pouncing it right now. And what is that that you're this, using? This is dried paint pigment inside this little cloth. Oh, okay. And, um, you rub it across the paper, rub it across your pattern, and then it'll transfer onto the drawer. Mm -hmm. But I gotta move it up a little bit because the hardware is gonna be in the way. Okay. So you take a pattern, you trace a pattern out on a piece of paper, and then you take a little needle and you poke the pattern, you huh? Poke holes in the pattern and then rub the pounds across it and yeah. it transfers onto the yeah, drawer that I'm going like to decorate. That. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. You want to try another one? Sure. I'm going to put this little one up on the other drawer. Alright, let's see what you got here. It looks like this could actually be a fun little project here. Mm -hmm. You have to enjoy this kind of stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. Now is this quite, is this a pretty time consuming process that you do here? It's kind of time consuming. Is that all your pattern you're putting on there? Yeah. See there's a little bird and there's some tree stems yep. and flowers and leaves. Yeah, I see that. So... Okay, you want me to demonstrate? I, I do. We're going okay. from... We're going from these black dresser drawers here right now that have nothing on them to where she had put a pounce pattern right here. Now she's going to be laying some, I don't know why that stuff's falling around the place. That's okay. Not really. Um, this is gesso. Um, I make this with dur Durnum's water putty mm -hmm. and lacquer and it makes like a thick paste. paste so that I can paint with it and it's raised off the surface. Okay. So this isn't flat oriental work, this is actually raised work here is what we got going on. We're moving a few things around here so I can zoom in a little bit better. So which one are you going to do first? I'm just going to do the flowers to this pattern. Mm, okay. Okay, that looks good, yeah. Once again, I can't see what we're doing over here. You can't? No. Let me try and get on the other side of you. Sorry about this, folks. No, I can see better. Oh, yeah. So it's coming out a thick, creamy paste. Just a lacquered base. And it eats into the finish of the wood, so you want to be careful that you get it where you want it. Now eventually we're going to be showing you some more videos of how this actually comes to life here. Sandy's done that over there. As she's doing that, I'm going to show you a little over here. Here's a 
drawer here where she's got a little bit of the people on it so far. Over on this side here, she's working on it. A little bit of a village. She's laying all the drawers. We got to label these drawers the order they go in the case. So she can put her decoration on. This is going to be a nine drawer cabinet. It's going out to Elkhart, Indiana. One of our great customers, Jared. Uh, he brings a lot of oriental work out there. Now, Sandy's our drawers here. You keep working over there, honey. This is what Sandy's been doing while I've been panning around. She's got two flowers on there. And this is also the same drawer here. It's a little bit further along. As you can see, she's got a little man over here on the right hand side with some fading mountains. It's gold. And to the right of that, she's got a little little house and a little tree and some mountains. Um, and once again, here's another one we did a video on the other day. This is going to go on a Kendall High Boy for Jared. This one here is uh, basically a tortoise finish that we had done. I'm going to lay it on down here so we can see it. That tortoise finish is basically painted black with a gold and a red pounce um, in it. And this is not quite done yet either. Uh, this is, once again, just a sample. So we're going back over here to see what Sandy's doing again. And she is, uh, she likes to get the flowers. Sandy likes to paint flowers. <laughs> she prefers painting flowers over, uh, Oriental. Or, and Oriental. But, uh, she paints what she's paid to paint. So, and here's another one of Sandy's paintings down there on the corner. She does a lot of work out of her little studio here. I built this studio for her here about two years ago. It's just a tiny little thing. It's probably 10 foot by 8 foot. But boy, she has done a lot of big jobs out of here. Never complains about anything. Um, let's see. She's right back over here. So, well, this kind of concludes what we're doing here. Once again, these are when black. I get, when I get to the next step, Bruce, mm -hmm. then we'll, we can show them. So. Yeah, when we get to the next step here. Once again, we went from plain black dresser drawers over here, the dye drawer cabinet, um, you know, to uh, this is the tortoise finish here. I'm going to try and move to these drawers here. Sandy has laid some gesso down on it to start it. Um, I hope this video comes out okay. To right over here where you, uh, you see another one of the drawers that's got a little bit of paint detail on it. So, all right, thank you. Once again, this is Bruce Latch and Sandy Cuspit down here at Timeless Arts Refinishing. 616-453-8309. www.timelessartgr.com. Thank you.